not all of them are calm. <laughs> I got her, Todd. Good afternoon, y'all. Welcome back. I just went and laid mainly down for his nap. He fell asleep over there at the table eating his little snack. He is so quick to fall asleep. Like, he is the fastest kid I've ever seen. I mean, he'll just be talking and playing, and then you turn around and boom, he's asleep. So I took him to his bed, and now I'm about to make a copycat Starbucks lemon loaf. I made this a long time ago. I can't remember if I did a video on it, though, or not. Titus and Jacob and Tyler are gone this afternoon to help somebody get a cow up. They're wanting to sell some of their cows and there were a few wild ones in there. Well, they ended up catching most of them, but one, they still couldn't get her. So they're getting the horses so they can go over there and help them do that. Sometimes cows are a little wild. I know like when you see them on cartoons and TV and such, they look really calm, but not all of them are calm. <laughs> you get a wild one from time to time. And if you're wanting to move them to a different spot, sometimes farmers are just wanting to move them to a different pasture. Sometimes they're selling them. Sometimes they're taking them like to the cow sale or to an individual person that's buying them from them. And they do not always want to go on that trailer. Most of the time they don't. Sometimes they don't even want to go to the catch pen. I think that's what's going on with this one. She didn't even want to like, she wouldn't even go to the catch pen. All right, lemon loaf time. <laughs> We're going to put in three eggs, CC May. We need one cup of sour cream. I think that's almost a cup. Go ahead and put all that in there, Cece, and I'll get a little bit more for you. One cup of sugar. And half a cup of vegetable oil. We'll go up to number two. We need two tablespoons of lemon zest. So I'm just gonna zest this lemon over this little bowl. And we're going to keep the lemon, sit it over to the side because we'll need the juice from it to make the glaze that goes over the top. We're putting in the lemon zest and two tablespoons of lemon extract. Okay, last step, we need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. Did I say baking powder or baking soda? Because it was baking powder if I said soda. Sorry about that. Baking powder. pour it in and it's going in the oven at 350 for 50 to 55 minutes. I'll probably check it at around 40 or 45 minutes and if the top is getting too brown we'll put some foil over the top. We need to take care of these dishes. There we go and I think I hear Mr. Man waking up so it's time to go outside. It feels 
stay with them cows right there and they stay kind of calm, I'm just going to eat over and just flip it on her since this is electric right here. And Jack, you stand right there where that fence is right there because like Todd said, she's going to want to, she's going to want to go over and just jump right over it. I always really don't want to cooperate. Try it around this way. See, so she'll go in that pen right there. Up. Oh. Don't let her jump. Just let her hold tight there, boys. Hold on. Hold on. I don't want her to run through the fence. Just let her ease right there. She put, here in a minute, she'll get to want to go to them other cows right there. Go toward her head there and bring her back toward these cows. Yes, ma'am. We'll see if she wants to just go right in there and get in there with them cows. Get in there, Sally. Go on in there, mama. Hey, Zach, the gate over here, boys. Let me get back here on this thing right here. Boy, say what? Now, this is an obstacle course. Oh. Yeah, I don't think them old cows is really calm right there at all. Right yeah. All we gotta do is just get right there. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Where she was at a while ago in the pond, this alleyway goes all the way. Okay, got you. Well, this is, I believe this is going to work right here. So, you're just going to take her on to the sale, Todd? I don't blame you. Oh. Damn, boy. I got her, Todd. Hey, y'all, simmer down. Simmer down. All right, y'all, hot ham and cheese sandwich is going down tonight. At first, I was thinking to use like cheese sauce on these, but I think everybody's wanting to use regular cheese instead and just stick them in the oven and let it melt. So that's what we're gonna do. Not everybody wants their buns toasted, but we're gonna toast some of them first. So I'm gonna put the oven on brawl. I didn't even tell y'all what these were. It's the Pretzilla soft pretzel burger buns. I also have regular hamburger buns for people who don't want this kind. Do y'all hear that noise in the background? That is that wood wick candle. It's down to the bottom and it is so loud right now. We're just spreading on some melted butter and then I'm just gonna stick these under the broiler for just about two minutes. Now, we'll go ahead and do these four first. We're just gonna layer ham, cheese, ham, cheese. Put them back in the oven at 350 just for about five minutes to melt the cheese. I have different kinds of cheese too. I have cheddar, I have pepper jack, and I have Swiss. mustard sauce that people can put on the sandwich if they want to. I can get this mayonnaise out. A little bit of Southwest hot mustard. Now we're gonna make the glaze. We just need powdered sugar and some lemon juice. So I'm gonna cut this lemon in half that we zested earlier. And we're just gonna squeeze some lemon juice in here. We need about two or three tablespoons. Let's see what we got. I think we need a little more lemon juice. Yes, we do. Oh my goodness, did y'all see that? I just went everywhere. 